Hello there, this is Michelle Knight, and here's your August astrology. This month, Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, is going direct, and Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, is entering a new sign, bringing you a different type of luck for the next 12 months. As well as that, we've got a super full moon. Here's your monthly astrology. Libra this month is giving you hope and a sense of deep spirituality and a sense of belonging. First of all, we have Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, going direct. It may have been that you felt you've had some problems or some blocks connected to money, finances and abundance. And perhaps Saturn was making you look at old patterns or how you, you take responsibility for your sense of purpose, your sense of wealth, your sense of security in the world. Now Saturn is going direct, you have the opportunity to dig some new foundations and long lasting foundations, foundations that will serve you well, possibly for the next 28 years. So, you know, it's a great time to dig in and make things happen financially. On the second, Mercury and Venus, your ruler, and Jupiter are all conjunct in your position of socializing, of, of getting yourself out and about with people, feeling like you belong with people. And there's even a chance to meet a love interest this month within a group of people and, and your heart is open to soul connections. Not necessarily sexual, could just be friendship, but it's very intense, very deep, and it, it feels like you're meant to meet them. On the seventh, Mercury is entering your position of kind of uh, spirituality, hidden things, deep meaning. A secret may be revealed. We also have on the eighth, Mars, the planet of action, entering your position of groups of people and socializing. You're very passionate about your ideas and there may be a new idea connected to a group this month that really stirs you up and makes you feel great. And also, on the other hand, there's a part of you that may meet a new tribe of people, a, a, a kind of new energies are being drawn to you this month. And Jupiter, as it changes signs for the next 12 months, is bringing in your good fortune connected to your intuition. Trust your gut instincts. Also trust if something's revealed, even if it's unpleasant, it's for your greater good and great things will come out of it. Try not to fall into illusions or escapist moments because that's very tempting this month. But you know, work on your spiritual self and you should get great rewards. On the 14th, the new moon is giving you this brand new cycle connected to groups, your one consciousness or our all of our one consciousness and the ability to tap into the whole, which is a perfect time to come up with a dream or an idea you want to draw to you and make a wish on the 14th. Really do try it, but of course, be careful what you wish for. On the 15th, the Sun and Venus are conjunct in your position of groups of people. Very sociable month indeed. And you know, there's a whole part of you opening up to not just feeling at one with the universe, which is a great feeling because sometimes Libras can feel a little bit lonely. They're very, you know, in the middle of ba balancing yourself, you can feel as if you're on your own. Now Mercury, the planet of communication, is going into your sign on the 27th. This is great news because you're able to communicate very well. You are a master, a wizard, uh, and your words are spells from the 27th. The super full moon is giving you great insight on the 29th to what you need to do to take care of yourself physically, and also you've got a great inspiration around your work. Generally this month, you are free to meet new people. Your ideas are fabulous. Old connections have new relevance and you've got new values which are invested into your long-term future. It's exciting and it should make you feel free and, and spiritual and on a bit of a high. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I bring exciting news. My brand new website is up which has loads of fabulous free articles, free readings and all sorts for you to explore. It's been eight months of me getting it together, but I really hope you love it because I'm put my whole heart and soul into it. So please go to www.michellenight.com, Michelle with one L. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Hey,